pollution and its types. Have a look at this picture. Nature at its exuberant best. Turquoise blue sky, eyeful of green, sparkling waters, bewitching wilderness. And what about this picture? A land of vanishing beauty, shrinking open space of grey concrete, sooty air, drying land, dirty waters, and endangered wilderness. This change, which is called environmental degradation, has become a major issue before the world. Let's then begin with what is pollution. Pollution is an undesirable change in the physiochemical or biological characteristic of air, water, and soil due to addition of materials or energy in quantity and quality, which is harmful to living beings, including man. Thus, substances which contaminate air, water, and soil are called pollutants. Pollutants may be gases like carbon monoxide, sulfur oxides, and nitro oxides, metals like lead, zinc, and mercury, chemicals like aldehydes, detergents, pesticides, herbicides, and CFCs, sewage, radioactive wastes, and so on. Types of pollution. The major types of pollution are listed here. Click on the links to learn the meaning of each type of pollution. Air pollution. The major causes of air pollution are the toxic gases and exhausts that are let out into the air by industries, volcanoes, jet planes, automobiles, forest fires, burning of garbage, etc. These contain many harmful gases that cause diseases in human beings, destruction of vegetation, and damage to the structures on Earth. These gases can also form acid rain. Water pollution. The effluents let into water bodies from industries, sewage from towns and cities, washing clothes and cattle in water bodies, and such other reasons cause water pollution. The residual fertilizers and pesticides carried into water bodies during rain also cause water pollution. The list of pollutants can be quite long. Oil spills and oceans are another major cause that harms the marine life. Land pollution. If you visit big cities, you will find heaps of solid wastes in and around. The sources of land pollution are mainly houses, cattle sheds, industries, and agricultural fields. It includes household wastes, glass, fruit and vegetable waste, dead bodies of animals, old clothes, paper, plastic bottles, cans, excreta, chemicals, wood pieces, and so on. The heaps of solid waste provide breeding ground for germs. In addition to spoiling the beauty and surroundings, they emit foul smell. Controlling land pollution. Disposal of waste should be done very carefully and scientifically. It depends on the kind of solid waste. Solid waste originating from constructing material, etc., is buried in urban areas as land fills. Solid wastes like plastics, tin cans, metal scrap, paper, etc., must be recycled. Wastes originating from plant materials and household organic material can be turned into manure. Biogas can be obtained from biodegradable wastes. Wastes from hospitals and nursing homes should be burned in incinerators. Soil pollution. Pollution of soil is somewhat a localized phenomenon as compared to air and water pollution which spreads to long distances. Soil pollution occurs due to two main reasons. By pollutants that are washed down from the atmosphere because of rain. Insecticides and pesticides that are applied to the crops. Both these alter the composition and quality of the soil. Noise pollution 
Noise can be defined as any unwanted sound. Sound is measured in a unit called decibel, dB. The lowest sound measured in this unit is 1 decibel and the sound of a rocket taking off is about 180 decibels. In between the two are various levels of sounds. When we talk normally, the sound level is about 60 decibels. Noise is a pollutant because it produces several adverse effects on human beings and other animal life. The loudness and duration of noise is injurious to our physical and mental health. Sudden loud noise may cause acute damage to the eardrum. Continued loud noise may cause deafness. Noise lowers the efficiency of work, disturbs sleep and causes irritability. Thermal pollution Thermal pollution includes release of any kind of heated gases or heated water repeatedly into the environment including the water bodies. If released in the atmosphere, they warm up the air in that area and if released in water bodies, they kill the aquatic life. 